Back here with yet again another video. Neely here from Yash Reloaded, picking up with my gun breakdown series here for Ghost Recon Future Soldier, playing on the map Pipeline, running around with the 417. And last time I showed you uh, the AK 47 through Gunsmith. This time I figured we would just get right to the action and I would talk about the gun as we go. Uh, I figured it's just best to get right into the action. So here we are with the 417 again here on Pipeline. And one of the first things that I wanted to experiment with this gun uh, was its firing rates. It starts off as a semi-auto single shot weapon. And I wanted to switch that up and see how it would react uh, automatically. So what I did was I changed the firing rate uh, to full auto on this gun. And... I would really recommend, um, and, well, this is kind of sort of taking a neutral stance. I would recommend really either firing rate uh, to any of you out there who are sort of curious about this weapon. It's really good with the single shot, but it gets even better up close when you change it uh, to full auto. Uh, some of you may have a preference for the single auto, which is the firing rate that it uh, shoots at the semi-auto firing rate when you first get it, but then you can sort of customize the match trigger and all that. And so I experimented, and I really found that the full auto didn't take away from its range. It didn't uh, certainly didn't hurt it up close, and it definitely helped it uh, medium range. So, uh, you know, if you're sort of wondering uh, about sort of changing the firing rate on this 417, I would definitely say go for it. It's definitely worth it to, to try it out. And as usual, you know, I like to run uh, a silencer on most of all my weapons using just the regular uh, HW lens here for the scope. Uh, of course, I have a, an angled foregrip on it. Uh, I forget what the stock is. I think it's a composite stock that helps the control. But typically, I go for all control. That is one of the main things that I like to do with a lot of my weapons. Um, I find that the firing rate really doesn't hurt me all that much although that is my playstyle some of you may have different preferences when it comes to sort of balancing your control and balancing your your firepower or your fire rate uh, like I said as for this 417 uh, experiment with the different rates of fire see which which you like better whether that's the full auto or the semi-auto single shot and uh, that may be the biggest decision that you have to make with this gun in terms of customizing it uh, most everyone will find their sort of uh, standard attachments that they like to use mine being the angled foregrip suppressor and HW lens but where things may change is that fire rate in that uh, back stock and maybe even the gas system if you wanted to increase uh, sort of the how fast the bullet comes comes out actually in the uh, in the gas system so those are uh, some general thoughts about the 417 pretty pretty standard stuff I figured I didn't really need to show you in gunsmith probably better to talk about it and you can see the attachments on the gun as I play and it's probably best to just just sort of see the gun in action and just to see the gameplay and as you can tell as you've seen through this gameplay this gun like I said the way I have it set up it's good from range it's good up close and medium range as well so it's pretty it's a pretty good all-around weapon uh, like I said I think one of the biggest things that I wanted to change with this gun was its capability to have a little bit more uh, power up close and changing it to full auto really helped that so I didn't really have to necessarily sit back and hold up a position as much with the single shot as I would with uh, the full auto uh, firing rate so this gameplay already sort of coming to an end. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, took something away from this video. If you were sort of curious about some of the Rifleman videos, I uh, haven't had much time to really pay this series much visit. Been pretty busy lately, so uh, hopefully I can get back into the swing of things and get you some more Ghost Recon multiplayer footage. I will be doing the AN-94, the A-91, and the TAR-21 next for the Rifleman class. You'll see gun breakdowns, or, or you'll see a gun breakdown for all three of those weapons. Then when I pro progress through uh, the Engineer and Scout, which I will eventually, 
uh, I'll be talking about those weapons, barring uh, the interest that you guys have. So let me know if you want to uh, see some continued support for Ghost Recon here on Yash Reloaded, if you like this whole gun breakdown series. And if you have anything to say, feel free to let your opinion be heard about this series, or if you'd like to see me take this series in a different direction or just change the gameplay up. So let me know in the comment section. As always, we appreciate your views here on Yash Reloaded. And I appreciate your view for watching. If you want to see more Ghost Recon footage or more Battlefield 3 footage, which are the two primary shooters I cover, uh, you can click on the link in the top of this video or the link in the underbar. It'll take you to my channel. Come on over and subscribe and check out what I have to offer. So this has been Neely from Yash Reloaded. Again, thank you for your time. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.